Hello, hello, hello. I'm your host, Coach Lamar, and this is Talking Smack because we can. You dig that? Today I have I will have coaches and players from the NIAA. Hey, y'all, look, we're about to shake things up, all right? And without further ado, I want to introduce uh, Coach Ebony Kimbrough from the Charlotte Blue Storm. Coach and E, Coach, Coach e. Mack from the Black Knights. Uh, Coach Kimbrough, you can introduce yourself first. Uh, Coach E, head coach for Charlotte Blue Storm, amongst other things with football, but right now that's what it is. Blue Storm all day. <laughs> Coach Mack, take the floor. I'm Coach Mack, second year head coach of the Rock Hill Black Knights. Just proud to be a Black Knight, proud to be here. Okay, okay. All right, we're going to get things started real quick, man. Uh, one quick question, man, because we, we had a lot of jab before Eric we we'll start, you know, getting it on teams talking junk already. Uh, I want to ask y'all a question. What does your team have that the other team doesn't? Heart. Oof. <laughs> That's it? Elaborate on that. Elaborate on that. Um, Heart. You know, you can have all the talent in the world, and we have plenty of talent. Don't get it confused. But talent without heart is meaningless. We have plenty of heart if we don't have anything else. Okay. Coach Mack, what you got to say about that? Um, I mean, in order to win, you got to have heart. You got the will to win. Um, it's not knocking anything towards their guys or the coaches, but I think at the end of the day, the best team is going to win. And within that being said, you got to have the heart, the determination, the discipline to know that you can beat the man on the other side of the ball. So I think we got heart. You know, who won? I think we got a lot. Who won last football season? Oh, uh, the Black Knight. I give him that. Oh. You want to bring up? You want? You gotta just bring up old shit, right? Um, I'm sorry, old stuff, right? You want to bring up old stuff? I give him that. This a new year, baby. Oh, hey, I, I, new year. Actually, I don't know. I don't remember. This a new year, you know? and 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 Trey, <laughs> Coach Matt, right here, already yes. told me the other day. Told me. Ain't no way my boy's beating his boys tomorrow. That's what he told me. Ain't no way. It's, oh, it's, yes, a, man, it's a home game, game right? Yes, it's, a it's, home literally game. Happens. it's a home That's game. Right. It's in Charlotte, right? The game yeah. is Charlotte, right? Oh, get it yeah. out. Get it yeah. out now. All I, all I got to say is, come see about us. Come see about us. <laughs> come see about us. <laughs> all right. Uh, all back to the coaches. Come see about what we got going on. Back it. to the I coaches. Hold on. Um, since we talk about the program, uh, I want to start with Coach E. What should we expect from your program? A big difference from last season. Last season was a building year for us. Um, I literally came in and built the program um, from the bottom up. Now we're at a point where we can excel on the field as well as everything else that we're doing. So a complete difference. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Coach Mack, the same question, man. What should we expect from your program? Um, this year um... – I, what I try and preach to my guys, you know, football always going to be here. But um, most definitely it's what they do outside, of, off the field. So um, besides the football, you know, we're getting it in each and every day. But we also want to show a difference in, in our community. You know, we didn't do much as well last year, but we have a lot of fundraising events coming out down here in Rock Hill. So, uh, you know, wins on the field and wins outside outside the field, that's what you should expect from the Black Knights. All right, I hear some character talking. Okay. Um. So getting into the season, uh, what teams are y'all gunning for? Start with Coach Matt. Upstate. Well, you know, um, uh, going who, eight and zero. Who give me all them easy dubs? What teams give me all them easy dubs? I, I mean, all the easy dubs. See, I'm not. It's last year. Last year, we never, we never really had any easy dubs because I mean, our boys could have did better. But at the end of the day, I mean, I, I believe everybody. Oh. Unmute, unmute. You, did you mute yourself, sir? <laughs> He's steady talking to. Storm, but I, I kind of, I, you know, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to hand it to her again. Oof. No, sir. No, sir. Don't act like you just whooped our ass out there on the game when we played. Don't hey, do that, hey. sir. Don't it's do a family that, show. <laughs> we hey, talking he smack, to, but we ain't, you know. Limit my, he, he told me to limit my words. He didn't say I couldn't say any. Don't act like you just whooped our tail out there, sir. No, you did not, sir. All right. Don't That's do that. Right. So, Don't Coach Kimbrough, what what yes, what team what team are you gonna for? Who giving you those easy dubs? <clears throat> um, I, we owe Upstate, um, and we owe Black Knights. Okay. So everybody you want them else too. is an easy, everybody else is an easy win. Ooh, ooh, call them out. 
Call him I, out. I did. I, I did. Everybody else is an easy win. But we owe Upstate and we owe Black Knights and we got something for them. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow's game. Coaches and players, let's bring it in, man. We're going to talk that smack. Oh, yeah. Who's yes, winning sir. and why? Who's passing the sticks, that 21 skunk? What's going oh, yeah. on? <laughs> we, might, we might be putting up 40, 40, 50 tomorrow. Everybody on my team get, get into the money. Everybody get into the money. We coming fast, physical, and we playing as a team. Oh, brother. We done, we done came a long it's a, it's a way from fast. last year. Hey, Long way, man. He ain't want none of the heat. He ain't want none of the heat. He left. He left. Oh, they wanna. They he leave. Said, he gonna. He gonna say that his phone messed up or something. That's gonna be his excuse. <laughs> Come That's see be out of us. Hey man, talk y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Talk really, stuff, man. Protect the brand. I really, I really think though, Gosh. our team has came a long way, and from last year, we were like not all the way focused on Koji, like not built into her game because we didn't, at first we didn't. Hold on, like hold on. Really Before we get to that, I got you. I got you. I, Let me let y'all introduce I, yourself first and we're going to get to that. I got you. I got something for you. you go introduce first, yourself. Though. Start with you. Start with me. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself. Let me go first. All right. My name is Faisal. I'm from Morganton, North Carolina. I came to the Charlotte Blue Storm to, you know, in, improve my, my skills at the, at the level of college. And uh, I play slot receiver, you know. Um, they can't guard me. That's all I have to say. And I'm going to be ready for tomorrow. Let's go. That's my name. Um, Trayvon Miller. I go by three. Trey. I play safety and wide receiver sometimes on the offense. Three. Um, and, you know, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Born and raised. Grew up in Charlotte. Trying to make it out of Charlotte. Came from... Concord University up in West Virginia, D2. Then my grades was a little bit messed up, but now I'm back up there, 3.2 GPA, trying to get, trying to make it somewhere in my life. Got to, got to change, trying to grow up, <laughs> trying to grow up. There you have it. This is our talent, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but hey man, players. I seen y'all play. I think uh, Coach Kimbrough, girls players. team could take y'all. Oof. <laughs> hey, oh. hey! I'm just gonna put this out there, though. I'm just gonna put this out there real quick. Oh yeah, he's wrong, messing up. Um, yeah, yeah. You breaking hey, up? Can't hear you, man. You speaking Ebonics right now? Um, <laughs> nah, you know, you know, both of my both of my teams, both of my teams have her, but I won't, I won't, I won't do that to them. Like, you know, my girls will go out there and line it up with them and won't quit. But I, you know, what I'm saying my my my, my JUCO boys, they they own it, they ready, they want it with them. Okay. Uh, I got a question, a couple questions for the student athletes. All right, if I was to ask your coaches, um, have you bought into the program in the coaching styles? Yes, sir. What makes you say that? Yes, yes, definitely. I, I believe I definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, he, oh, now he, there I, was one. I believe, so <laughs> can you repeat the question again? Because I didn't really um, hear it. If I was to ask your coaches, have you bought into the coaching style in the program? What would they say? I would think, I would think they would say we're kind of we're there, but we're just not all the way there. We still okay. got some stuff to improve on as a team, as a whole, but we have came a long way from last season and brought more into the program and kind of started being on time to practices and started taking stuff serious because we started, the coaches gave us a reality check. Yeah. Like, this is your last chance. So, yeah. either put up or shut up. Yeah. You would do, take care of business on the field, on and off the field, which is going to make you a better person. And just elevate. They want us to elevate. And I'm, I've been buying into that. Because at first, I didn't really buy into it. Because I'm like, all right, this is a new league. I'm coming out of an NCAA school. It's a new whole conference by itself. And I'm like, what am I going into? Thinking, I'm like, ah, it's probably over for me. But Coach E always said, you're going to be good. You just, you're going to be good. You're going to get out of here. You just need to do what you need to do. She told me, fix a couple of things. 
during the off season, I was like, all right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go, looked in the mirror at myself and said, these are things you need to fix. Mm -hmm. And it's been, it's been good. It's been good. Our practice has been better, way better. And we just get in the flow. It's like, it's feeling like college. again. That's what I, it's feeling like college ball again. And I was like, gotcha. I'm loving it. I totally <laughs> agree. All right. So you said, yes, you bought into the program. Let, let's finish hearing what you had to say. Um, for, for me, I look at it as a, a second opportunity for this league. Um, I came into this last year, um, you know, a year removed from college. I wasn't, I didn't work out. I didn't prepare. I didn't do, I, I literally just showed up, showed out and continued to work on my game. And okay. Coach E has always instilled, you know, confidence in me and, and to make sure that I always do what's right and to keep my work ethic up. And I, I see this as a, a second opportunity to, to show people that I can really do this. I can play at, at a high level. Okay. So with that said, uh, it's a little different having a, a, a woman as a coach, right? Uh, are you coachable? It's, and if, if, it's if I was not. a recruiter, hold on. If I was a recruiter from a D1, D2 school, it's what would your coach not. say about uh, you? Co coach E. Hold on. He can't hear. Oh, can you hear me? I can hear him. Let me let me let me uh, give you the question again. Are you coachable? Being that you know you have a woman coach, it's a little different, right? If I was a recruiter it's, from a D one or D two school, what would your coach say about you? You go first. I would honestly uh, think um, she would tell she would tell those coaches that I work hard. You know, um, I don't talk back. I, I listen as much as possible. Sometimes I may, you know, miscomprehend some things that she says, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I work hard. I keep my nose in the dirt and, and I do my work. And I let, let my, let body talk for me instead of my mouth. Right. I hear the funk talking. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, I always say, oh, hold on. Uh, why is people calling me? <laughs> they want to talk to you properly. <laughs> Oh, All right, I'm gonna go back to coach. All right, uh -huh. this was for Coach Mac. I was gonna ask him, Kenny, out, coach. Negative. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Again, when we played them, they won by a couple of key mistakes that we made. Out, coach me. No. Okay. Absolutely not. I didn't play. I didn't. I got. <laughs> right. I got. You, you uh, were playing that game. You're correct. I, I got a question I want you to think about, Coach. Um, okay. Does being a woman at a, a men's college level does that does that put you at a disadvantage? Uh, for me personally, mentally, mm -hmm. it does not. Um, it is a disadvantage because it's like always bumping my head on a glass ceiling. Um, so many men feel like this is a men's sport. So many right. men feel like women don't know this sport. Right. And, you know, what I tell them all day, just put your knowledge against mine. Anytime you're ready, let's set it up. Okay. Um, this is what I do. Talk. Football Talk. is what I do. Day in and day out, football is what I do. I right. never stop learning this game. So Okay. Humble. Okay. I'm going to go back to your student athlete asking this, this question. Uh, are you coachable, being that you have a, a woman coach? And if I was a recruiter from a D1, D2 school, what would she say about you? Okay, first off, I wanted to say, me and Coach E, we, we here. We, we, we don't care. We don't bump heads a few times, but we here now. But I would say, overall, I would say, she would probably say to a D1 or a D2, he's a good kid. He, he's goofy, likes to talk a lot. Um, hardworking. I, I, I really think I've been working hard lately like coming into this and starting just from her like just from her like her pushing me like her telling me oh this not good enough or this not good enough not technically saying oh you're doing bad but trying to push me to do better because she know I can be better than what I am and so mm -hmm. I would think she would tell D1 recruiter he's capable of making plays and focusing and Working hard, showing up to practice, and um, you okay. might have to get into 
You might have to get into him a couple of times. You might have to root him out a couple of times, but he gonna understand. He gonna get it. Okay, that's the truth. That's the truth. That's good. Uh, Coach, uh, any last comment? Uh-huh. Um, these two right here are definitely to watch tomorrow, definitely highlight players. And I can agree with both. If uh, D1 coach was to ask me, um, Faison came in ready to go all the time. Goes, you said it's a family show, goes hard all the time. Mr. Miller has improved a thousand percent. He wasn't, a, he wasn't bad when he came in, but he's so coachable now. Um, his attitude now is where it needs to be to go to the next level. He's ready. Okay. I don't let don't don't take that to your head, Trey. Like I ain't told you that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm humble. I'm being humble. I'm, I'm taking a new approach. You said you said do your talking on the field and less with your mouth. Absolutely. I'm you gonna take a new approach to the game. Him, coach. That's the first thing I tell him. You don't gotta judge act with these with your opponents on the field. Right. You don't have to say anything to them. You can let them talk all the trash they want to talk. Talk with that face mask and them shoulder pads. Talk with being physical. That's yeah. all. The, that's all you have to talk with. That's all I ever mm-hmm. talk with. I've been playing over twenty years, and I'm telling you, you will never hear me. And my, and my OC has told them, you never hear me talk trash on the field. But I put it down out there. That's okay. all. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta, <laughs> you gotta use your mouth. Use what you out there for. Be physical. Absolutely correct. But you know, you know the kid, you know the younger generation. I'm more like myself. Uh, I I kind of idolize um, Richard Sherman. You know, if you talk to get to the head and mess up the game. Hey, you know you talking about one trick ponies though, right? You don't. You talk, talking about zone people. You ain't talking about no lockdown D people, man. They're the ones that talk. You don't hear Why? somebody talk. You don't, you ain't hear you ain't hear other <laughs> people talk. You talking about one trick ponies, man? They zone they one zone trick play. ponies. I got Mika for you. <laughs> Mika gonna be that. That's who I idolize too. And okay. Deion Sanders. That's okay. who I'm gonna really look up to. Look good, play good, feel good. All right. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. We're gonna close it out, man. Good. You know, uh this this is an NIA okay, talking me. smack because we can. Right, everybody, uh tell the world come watch y'all tomorrow. Let's go. We play at Mallet Creek Park. Y'all better pop out. Charlotte, North Carolina. I think the address is 30001 John Orton Road. All so right, thank you guys. Oh, y'all gonna talk to Smack. Yeah. <laughs>